DNA evidence has cracked the case of a rape and attempted murder in San Mateo 32 years later. Now, this suspect, John Harris Jr., is facing charges. This is how he looked the year of the attack, 1989, and how he looks now. Good evening, I'm Alan Martin. And I'm Elizabeth Cook. KPIX 5's Andrea Borba is live in San Mateo, where the survivor never gave up on tracking down her attacker. Andrea? Well, Elizabeth Allen, that is right. The survivor in this case is, in fact, a true survivor, came just centimeters away from certain death in this attack. She kept going back to the San Mateo Police Department to make sure that her case was not forgotten. And today, she has some closure. In the early morning hours at this apartment complex on Casa de Campo in San Mateo, the unthinkable happened to a sleeping woman. A suspect had entered her home, uh, had forcibly raped her, uh, strangled her, held a knife to her throat, and subsequently stabbed her several times before slashing her throat. The woman somehow survived despite a stab wound that nearly hit her jugular. 32 years later, in December 2020, a DNA hit from that case came back to this man, 55-year-old John Harris Jr. Kevin Raffelli was the sergeant in charge of the case in the 80s and 90s. She has come to the police department during my career here uh, and asked us several times uh, in the various years to run DNA checking, check on him, do what you can. So she never let it go. Harris Jr. was arrested yesterday outside the surveillance video installation company where he works in Manteca. We're here today to ensure that there are no other victims um, that have been uh, victimized by our suspect that have not been brought to the attention of law enforcement. Harris Jr. has lived all over the Bay Area, including San Mateo, San Francisco, Alameda, and San Joaquin counties. Raffelli, who now works for the San Mateo County DA's Office Investigative Unit, says he is grateful that the victim now has some closure. She's come to peace with it, uh, and she both told both Chuck Broad and I that, you know, she's forgiven him, but she needs him to be responsible for his actions and have justice uh, be sought on him. Andrea, what has the suspect been specifically charged with right now? Well, Elizabeth, at the moment, the suspect is facing that attempted murder charge because he came so close to killing the victim in this case. He is not being charged with the rape, however, because at this point, it is beyond the statute of limitations. We are told by San Mateo County we can expect more charges in the coming days, as this is still a pending investigation. But at the moment, attempted murder. All right, Andrea, thank you.